Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Chun Ohm. I'd like to talk about uh, Hyundai Motor Company today. Uh, half jokingly, many Koreans say if they have a chance to uh, change one part in Hyundai car, can you guess what it is? It is the <laughs> this, this means that uh, they are satisfied with their uh, the Hyundai car's uh, quality, but uh, this means that uh, Hyundai car has a long way to go to enhance the, the brand power. Uh, the reason why I introduced this story is that I think it is a good point to understand their current situation from the perspective of the management and job applicant both. Are you using the, the arrow? There you yes. go. Uh, my, my presentation will be uh, composed of two parts. The first is overview of status of status and history of the company, and the second part second part is threat and opportunity for the companies and for the job in Africans for uh, the total asset and sales and operating income are like this, but it's better for us to focus on these highlighted two numbers. Some, uh, a certain analyst, certain uh, expert say that if an auto company enjoy the economy of scale and have uh, enough resources to invest for the next generation, uh, they need to at least 5 million units per year. And other analysts say uh, in the near future, only five car, car company will survive in the near future. So the Hyundai car is getting closer to these two numbers. These are uh, current ranking of all the cars. Hyundai is now ranked by uh, number six, and they hope to be number five next year. And I was I found out that even Hyuka students think that the Hyundai car is just a small company located in South Korea, but that's not true. Uh, they have more than 30 overseas plants and marketing subsidiary around the world, which means that they could give us a major opportunity around the world. They were founded in 1967, and for, for the first time, uh, they exported their vehicles to the U.S. 1986. But the, for the rest of the 80s and for the uh, 90s, they uh, couldn't show a significant growth in the U.S. market. They, so they called the 90s the last lost generation. They want to know uh, why it is so hard to penetrate into the U.S. market. So they did some blind test between Camry and Sonata in 1999. The result was surprising to them. 73 chose Sonata. I know this result can be interpreted in many ways, but one of the signal is that Hyundai can be more confident uh, in their uh, qualities. So uh, they introduced this kind of uh, uh, customer care program, pro program to differentiate their customer care strategy. This is the turning point of them in the US market, and so they became what they are now. And I would like to say uh, about the threat and opportunity of Hyundai Motors. Uh, in the past 10 years, they showed a significant growth in the brand power, but by some surveys, still uh, their brand power is below the average. We, know, we all know that all companies and all, all, all brands can be so-called luxury brand like uh, BMW or Porsche. But if the company's brand image is so tied to the price-oriented pattern, I think uh, that is need to be uh, addressed to be a sustainable company. And as I explained, the, the Hyundai is getting closer to, to the to the, um, the meaningful, meaningful numbers, but the auto industry's uh, market situation is getting tougher and tougher. So that's the one point to, uh, that's to, to be seen. And the CEO problem, uh, it's not the CEO problem, but the, as other Korean companies, ownership and management are not separated in the company, which means that in the near future, 
the, the next CEO, the son of the current CEO will be the next CEO. So the capability of the next CEO is the same as the, his predecessor will be another point to be seen. But they have many uh, brighter side. They know they cannot survive without global focus, so they could provide uh, internationals some other tracks to be direct. Uh, okay, thank you very much. All right. So what can we say about this one? Yes. I thought um, he had a general comfort of being up there. Um, you were easy to follow, and I thought you were a strong presence while you were up there. Um, in terms of the, uh, the weakness, actually, the one observation I made is you actually stood exactly where you were uh, almost the entire time. Um, just a general observation. But um, uh, in terms of uh, a weakness of the presentation, um, it was just uh, some of the transitions going through from front to end was uh, was uh, was not as strong as it could have been. I think um, and just relating the. I thought you actually did a good job relating the, the introduction. So the concept of brand, talking about how the why there was a, this concept of weak brand, what they did need to do to improve. And so I think the transition just could have been uh, just generally improved. Other things? Who's next? Get up here, right? Yes, sir. Right. <coughs> um, I I thought. Uh, more than anyone else, I think there was just really good balance showing both sides, you know, starting out by explaining that they're not really that happy with their brand and they, there are a lot of issues that, you know, they need to improve on, but they are up and coming at the same time and there's a lot of potential. And so I think more than anyone, it was a really good job showing both sides of the company. Now, one of the things you didn't do is show us MBA opportunities. So in other words, one of the reasons people don't have time to do as much uh, the discussion of strengths and weaknesses or opportunities and threats is because they're doing MBA opportunities. Is there, that would be a connection to the interest step for the audience. What is, what is specifically interesting about this company? It is interesting just in general. It's an interesting company. And uh, you know, I think it's important that, that people know about it. They, they don't know as much as they should in terms of how widespread it is, you know, in, in the U.S. But I don't know whether or not you've sold us on it being interesting for us. You know, a lot of these people are looking for jobs. So is there any other thing about this that could be helpful? Would you have to speak Korean to work for Hyundai? Would you, you know, is there any kind of way of, of, of working for Hyundai other, other than in Korea? I'm not really sure I saw as much about that as, as maybe might be interesting to this, to this audience. Other things? Yes? I thought you had great um, gestures. The only thing I would suggest is uh, cutting some of the content on your slides. And if you do want to have a lot of content with um, statistics and graphs, I would stand a little bit further back so it's not as obvious when you're looking back at the slides. Yeah, one step back probably would have done it. You did a really nice job of staying still. Yeah. You know, I thought you didn't have a lot of distracting movement. Your voice was too low at the beginning, mm -hmm. and it got much, nice and louder, much better at, in the middle. But at the very beginning, and I think you can listen on the CD, you'll hear yourself too low. And so you need to start maybe higher than you think, louder than you think you need to be, so that you can overcorrect that, all right? And the gestures would have helped a little bit more to give a little more emphasis in there, but I think you were easy to follow. It was not that it was hard to follow. I thought it was actually some really good information and very clear. So th those things were good. Uh, eye contact probably needs a little bit more work. Anything else? Okay, thank you very much.